Hello everyone, welcome to Blogging My Passion YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a slideshow with horizontal or vertical thumbnails. For example, if you see this, I have created a slideshow with horizontal thumbnails at the bottom of the slideshow. You can also see the arrow marks here. Uh, using which you can move the images to right or left or you can drag those images uh, so that you can move to the new images. It shows the thumbnails list at the bottom as a horizontal list and you can click on any of these images and you can go to that particular image. It also shows two left arrows, uh, I mean one left arrow and one right arrow and using which you can move the horizontal slides, uh, horizontal thumbnails as well. Similarly, if you see this one, uh, this is uh, a slideshow with, with vertical thumbnails and these thumbnails also show a upper arrow mark and a uh, bottom uh, down arrow mark and if you click on this you can move these uh, thumbnails to upside or downside and you can click if you click on any of these thumbnails you will go to that particular image so in this video i'm going to show you how to create these kind of slideshows with horizontal or vertical, vertical thumbnails and the plugin i'm going to use to create these slideshows is master slider Master Slider is a very useful plugin. Uh, it has a pro version also, but using the free version itself, you can create beautiful slideshows and I'm going to show you how to do that one. Okay, in order to do this, first let's install the plugin. So to install the plugin, first let's go to plugins area in the WordPress dashboard and click on add new plugin. And in the search box, search with the words Master Slider. Okay, so this is the first one uh, you see, master slider responsive touch slider. So click on install now. Once it is installed, activate the plugin. Okay, now the plugin is uh, activated and once the plugin is activated, you will see a new list here on the left hand side meta slider. So you'll see, sorry, uh, master slider. Uh, so you'll see like master slider and settings. So uh, if you go to the settings, it will uh, show you like you know, some settings. Uh, I'm not going to like, you know, show you anything about these uh, settings. You can try this one. These are all like, you know, hide info table, uh, enable uh, catching and all those things. So uh, I'm not going to show you all these things. Let's go into the master slider and uh, create some slideshow. So click on this master slider here and if you see uh, here like it will show you uh, a link a button click create a new slider click on the create new slider one and it will show you this thing so you can either uh, create a custom slider or you can use uh, the existing uh, uh, sliders here uh, using which you can create uh, sliders easy, easily and these are all uh, uh, for pro version these all sliders are for pro version so let's go ahead and like you know uh, use this custom slider option select this one and click on create okay so it is showing like you know different option here slider settings slides and all these things let's go to the slider first let's upload uh, some images and then we will see uh, how to create the slide and uh, how to use the setting settings and all these things uh, click on add slide and it will ask you to select any of the images from the media library or you can upload a new files as well so let's upload some files here click on select files okay uh, so these are the different images uh, that I'm already using so let's select all of these and click on open okay now the images are uploading uh, it generally takes some time because i'm uploading almost uh, around 25 to 30 images so let's wait until all these images are uploaded okay now the images are all uploaded and let's remove this one okay now the images are all uploaded and uh, click on uh, create slides here okay now all the images that we have uploaded they came into this slides uh, section so once these images are uploaded what you can do is like you know you can uh, uh, play with these uh, settings these are all like you know what background image that you would like to use and, uh, and you know if you want to provide any uh, url or a link to the particular image you can provide the links here uh, so for example like you know for the first you know, right now the first image is uh, selected so for the first image i am giving the link as uh, google.com and whether you want to open it on the same page or you want to open it on a new page i'm clicking on open it on a new page and for the second image 
I'm providing a different uh, uh, location, different URL. So which is a uh, HTTP colon uh, www uh, so open it also in a new page and let's save these uh, changes first so now the changes are saved now uh, the side info so you can give like you know some in info so you can play like you know all these uh, options here uh, with these options so now let us go into the slider settings so let's see these uh, settings so the slider name so uh, since i'm creating a horizontal slider initially so i'm changing it to horizontal uh, slider and the slider width and the slider height so the slider width normally the images that i have selected are uh, i'll show you my site like you now to show you how i have selected these uh, uh, images so if you see this article i would like to create a new post so the images will be of this much uh, width so this width is around 700 pixels so i have selected my images with 700 pixels width so i'm changing it to 700 and the height of the images is 500 pixels only so you can use this option if you have much bigger images you can crop these images using this setting here uh, so these are the main uh, changes that i use normally and slider tra transition navigation and these are all uh, different settings you can play with this and now let's go into slider control so this is one of the uh, main things like you know that you have to set for example if you see this one if you save these changes you have a preview option here so if you preview it it will show show you how your slider will look like so if you see this one you can see that like uh, uh, you know there are no left arrows or right, uh, right arrows and there are also no thumbnails are showing it here uh, so what you can do is you can drag these images to go to the uh, new image so uh, if you want to have uh, these left arrows right arrows and if you want to have the thumbnails below this what you have to do is you have to uh, add these uh, slider controls so you have different slider controls here arrows line timer bullets and all these things uh, so uh, let's add some arrows here so let's add this one so i have added the arrows control here and for each and every control you have some uh, options available available here um, for example hide arrows when mouse leaves the slider that means if you move your slider away if you, you if you move your mouse away from the image uh, that left arrow marks or right arrow marks these are arrow marks will be hided okay so let's leave this as it is show arrows over youtube or uh, vimeo video player hide arrows for window width less than so uh, these are all like you know different settings of so for uh, i'm just leaving it as it is and let's save these changes and preview this one okay if you see this one like you know this is the image and now if you move your uh, uh, pointer over the image you can see this left arrow marks and the right arrow marks so this is working fine and now let's add another control which is let's add the bullets here bullets means um, let me preview this one first so bullet means it comes like you know some dot marks some bullet marks here where uh, which will show you on which slide you are so in order to add that one you have to add this uh, control bullets control so let's add this one once you add this bullet controls it will show you like you know some more options so it says that hide bullets whenever the mouse leaves the slider that means if you move your mouse pointer away from the image it will hide the bullet points and uh, you know so these are all the different controls again you can play with this and another important one that i would like to add here is the thumb lists or tabs so let's add this control okay now the thumb lists are added so here are the different items first let's save this one and preview this to see like you know how it shows okay let's preview this one and this is how your slider will show up so if you see there are uh, you can see that the horizontal uh, thumbnails list is added here and you can click on any of these uh, thumbnails and uh, you can go to that particular image okay now let's close this one and let's look at these options that we have for thumbnails uh, thumb list or tabs so the first one is hide thumb list or tabs when the mouse leaves the slider if you select this option so if you move your pointer away from the images like it will hide this you know, thumb list or tabs but i don't want this option because i want to have uh, my thumbnails uh, list always so i'm not selecting this option so show thumbnails or tabs over youtube so this is uh, for youtube or vimeo videos actually insert thumbnails list or tabs inside slider so currently we have if you see this one this 
thumbnails list is showing below the images and if you select this option uh, it, it will show the thumbnails list within the image at the bottom insert navigational arrow so you don't have if you see this one you don't have any arrows showing here you don't have any arrows showing here on the thumbnails uh, list so if you want to have a left arrow and a right arrow on this thumbnails list as well you can have an arrow so let's select this one uh, insert thumbnails uh, change slides insert navigation arrow so let's select this one so, so align control bottom thumbnails uh, list tabs margin so all these are like you know different settings but these are the main settings like you know that you can use let's save these changes so now the changes are saved uh, so let's uh, this one slider callbacks if you want to perform like you know some additional actions uh, during let's say like you know uh, on slide change start that means when the slide change uh, is a starting uh, you can do some extra action so if you want to do like you know those kind of actions you can add this callback functions and you can write like you know some extra uh, code to do those particular uh, actions okay so now we have done almost like you know all the uh, changes let's save this slider so now the slider is saved successfully and once you save this you can see a short code at the bottom of this one so the short code uh, for this one is master slider id is equal to 5 so let's copy this one and let's create a post and in the post you can add this short code to get the wordpress slider so i am creating a new post here and the post name i am just giving is horizontal slider demo okay so what what we have to do is uh, wherever you want to have this wordpress slider wherever you want to appear so just add this short code there and click click on save so i'm just uh, saving it as a draft because this is just a demo i'm showing it so now let's preview this one to see how it looks okay so this is our new post horizontal slider demo and uh, you can see uh, the images here and you can also see the left and the right arrow marks uh, here and you can see the left and right arrow, right arrow marks on the thumbnail uh, list as well and if you see this one so you can move this using this left and right arrow marks and you can click on any images uh, that you want and in the end like you know it will stop here so you can like you know, move it again to the left okay so this is uh, this is how like you know we can create a horizontal uh, slider uh, uh, you can create a wordpress slider with uh, horizontal uh, thumbnails okay if you want to create a slider with uh, vertical thumbnails th thumbnails list that is very easy what you have to do is just go to this one and go to the uh, slider controls and in the thumbnails or tabs uh, section you have one particular one which is align control so just click on this one and select this option right or left anything like you know whether you want to have it on the left or uh, right section you, you can uh, have it so i'm just uh, selecting this right one and i'm clicking it on save save changes now the changes are saved now let's go to here so in that the name is horizontal slider i'm just showing it for a demo so let's refresh this one now i have refreshed the post okay so now I got the slider here and you can see the thumbnails list uh, vertically aligned and uh, uh, you have you can see the upper arrow mark and uh, uh, down arrow mark here uh, using which you can move your thumbnails and you can click on any thumbnail you want to go to that particular uh, image okay so this is how you can create um, using meta slider you can create a slideshow in wordpress uh, that means a wordpress uh, slider very easily uh, as you see whatever the options that are that i have shown it's a, a free version of uh, master slider sorry it's not a meta slider it's a master slider so using uh, uh, that free version you can create very beautiful uh, slideshows in uh, wordpress i hope uh, you like this video and uh, if you like this video please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel blogging my passion uh, you can find my channel uh, on youtube at youtube.com slash blogging my passion thank you very much